Okay, so today I'm gonna build a sample veneer panel and I'm gonna do everything from splitting the veneer up out of random blocks that I have laying around here to, uh, you know, to laying it up. I'm doing this for a, uh, a presentation for a fire potential fireplace job this winter, for this winter. And, um, you know, if that job goes through, there'll be quite a bit of stone to cut. Um, yeah, so I just thought you might enjoy seeing the kind of uh, soup to nuts process, you know, with uh, with cutting and, and laying the stone here. I'm gonna be laying a uh, an ashlar veneer or some variation thereof, um, mostly rectangular rectangular pieces, three general lift heights, five, ten, and fifteen inch tall stones. Um, yeah, should be pretty neat. Yesterday I built this form with the rebar hoop in it, and I, you know, so I was able to pour a little uh, concrete slab there, and I'll be able to uh, to move this thing around. I'll be able to hook a chain onto the top of that hoop. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay these blocks. It'll just be four courses high. Um, I'll lay them on the back side of that that piece of rebar there just to you know give me something to lay up against and then I will start laying stone uh, the other day I was up here and I started splitting some veneer stone um, you know, there's a 15 inch tall piece maybe 30 inches long and a few tens here and there and, uh, and I'll have to make the fives as I as I go along um, so I'm going to be shooting for a six inch thick wall because that's what I'll build on this job. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, see how it goes. Okay, so I've cut a few stones here, 
they're just sitting on the concrete haven't mixed up any mortar yet um, on a longer wall you know it's nice to dry set some mix up a batch set them in mortar and then keep going that way you don't have mortar sitting on a pan you know for extended periods of time hour hour and a half is really kind of an ideal duration started working on this second stone here but I, I gotta set that first stone because it's too floppy so it's hard to hard to build up you know when the first courses are um, are moving around so yeah time to mix some mud ideally I'd have a tender up here doing that for me so I'm uh, evidently some type of prima donna who's above mixing mortar but desperate times call for desperate measures so let's get going on that So this mud is a uh, might be a little wet for stone, especially stones this large. However, I think it will uh, it'll set up a bit, you know, before it gets onto the wall. Additionally, you know, having it a little wet will be good for slushing behind that big stone on the corner in particular. You know, I could throw it and it'll really, uh, you know, it'll fall down between the stone and the block. Hopefully get a decent bond on the two. It's actually perfect for brick. I'd be psyched if I was laying brick with this mud right here. Little housekeeping thing is you don't want to, uh, you don't want to leave mud spread all over your board or on your wheelbarrow. Or you want to keep a nice tidy pile in the middle because it'll, uh, it'll kind of not cure. I don't know. It won't dry out that way. More importantly, randomly hard chunks are less likely to form and get, get drawn in. Uh, stone, you know, it's kind of annoying, but if you're chunky mud trying to lay brick or block, it's, it's no good. No good at all. So one thing I'm finding already is that, uh, with this hand split granite, I'm thinking six inches may not be deep enough for veneer. I was gonna build a block core on this fireplace that was uh, four feet wide and then lay six inches of stone on either end, making for a five foot wide fireplace, which is the uh, the space that I have available because there, this whole thing's going up between two windows. However, I think I'll save a lot of time in the field if I have eight inches. And, uh, you know, I'll end up eating up more mortar, but I think mortar compared to time is it's pretty cheap. It's a pretty good bargain. So I'll build the block core out of uh, six inch blocks, you know, six inches wide, eight inches tall, 16 inches long. That would give me outside dimensions of 44 inches. I bet they'll save a lot of time. You know, this big stone right here, I was 45 minutes working on. Um, and a lot of that time was getting it down to less than six inches. And you know, the thing still sits proud. can throw rubble back here too to suck up some volume. I think you run a risk of, you know, creating little bridges that is like voids. That's the place for water to collect stuff. Oh, sweet mama, let me see you love me. Behold you, hold you 
In my arms. <laughs> so I, I could feel this cut like going deep into the stone, deeper than I wanted. So I decided to come around and get it from the other side. And I'm glad I did, because you can see it was, it was heading in this direction right here. It's coming around from the other side. I think I saved this stone. This is the, uh, this is the bottom of the stone. I'm trying to get these humps off so I can get a nice tight fit. Okay, so I finished this panel up. I think it's a pretty good representation of what this stone can be. I think with any, any job, there's always a little bit of a learning curve right at the beginning to kind of fall into a rhythm with with the stone and the pattern and you know kind of figuring out exactly which tools you'll be using for that particular job. But I think that'll do. But that'll do what needs doing. I think that should show the uh, the homeowner my pr my proposal. Good representation of what the stone can be in uh, you know in a veneer form. I like it because I can get these these big big blocks out of it. You know that right there is a. 15 inch tall by almost three foot long stone and you know over the course of a 400 square foot chimney that won't be the exception you know there'll be plenty of, of examples like that in the structure so now hopefully with this rebar hoop I'll be able to pick it right up move it around maybe even bring it up to that job site if need be Hopefully it's balanced right to allow me to do that. It's uh, September 29th. I just found out. And the leaves just this week are starting to turn. Really looking forward to spending some time up here in October, the next few weeks. I'll have plenty of stone to cut, that's for sure. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, let me know. Let me know what you're interested in seeing too. I don't know if I got too technical with the, uh, with the masonry explanations there or, or maybe not technical enough. I don't know. Let me know what you want to see. Thank you. Take care.